Hi friends, welcome back to The Little Red Cottages. It is a winter wonderland here today. I woke up to about a foot of heavy wet snow and it is coming down. Oh my goodness, look at this. So I've been out shoveling the roofs with the roof rake and some of the pathways here. It's the kind of um, heavy, wet snow where you lose power. Oh, I can hear trees cracking in the back. Oh my goodness. Um, well, I'm gonna get back working on out here and return you to the story of the three little chickens and we'll check in in just a little bit. The chicken coop's a little rough, but so is the Charlie Brown Christmas tree. With the chicken coop done, the chicks arrived. It didn't take long and they were settled into the run and then the yard. They were fully grown and ready to start laying. Nellie, Opal, and Bridget. I had a friend raise them for me because I wasn't sure I could trust Mala around the baby birds. We may or may not have had concerns in the past. Before long, the boundaries expanded and the chickens were running amok in the yard. Hey, are you lost, little chicken? Get going. That's not your spot. Come on. And the porch battles began. Come on. In October, I adopted the cats. One-year-old sisters that needed rehoming, said the ad in the paper. They'd been well-loved by a woman who had taken in strays, and they were the babies of the stray cat, so they were sweet from the beginning. Everybody be nice. Don't scare them. Don't scare them. Be nice. Who is it, Mala? What do we have? Who's here? Say hello. Hi. As time went on and everyone settled in, some interesting friendships began to develop. Look who I have here. This is Nellie. Say hi, Nellie. You want to go find the girls? Okay. Let's do that. Here you go. Go find the girls. I know, you think you're a doggy. The other girls are over there. Chickens. Hmm. Kind of cool little creatures. What are you doing in there? What's going on? Mala, get out. Why are you in the chicken coop? Have you been trying to dig around in the chicken coop? Come on. Let's get out. Green scraps. Mm-hmm. that stuff up, girls. How's that corn, Nellie? Mm-mm, good. That's the one that had the bug in it. Maybe you get lucky and find a bug. There's not much to be said about Opal. She doesn't like to be handled, but she's a good girl and she's always happy to lay an egg. What are you doing in here? Are you laying an egg? This is a shower. It's for people. Don't talk back. Come on, Opal wants to go in and lay an egg. You can't sit in there. That's not your spot. Come on. Come on, you have to move so she can go in. Come on, get out of there. Get out of there. That's not your spot either. What are you doing? Come on, get out. Get out. Off you go. Okay. Here you go, Opal. You can go lay an egg now. I'll see you in a little bit. Bridget is a friendly and curious little chick. She's always making friends in unexpected places. One time, I found her on the porch whispering to the Christmas witch. 
Bridget always dreamed of being an indoor chicken. What's going on, Gwen? What's this? Yeah. Bridget's going to go back outside now. And so began the love affair with backyard chickens. Personalities developed and friendships were made. Gwen and Bridget in particular. It always makes me smile to see the two of them palling around in the yard. I can't express enough the level of joy that all these little animals have brought into my life. But with the threat of a very harsh winter looming and thinking back on how difficult last winter was, I hatched a plan. All right, we got a uh, back end of the van filled with shavings and a safety net. So let's see if this is gonna work. Okay, we're ahead of schedule and Nellie is in the van already. So we're gonna go grab the other two girls. Let's see how this goes. I swear to God. All right, something happened and Nellie got out. So we're gonna have to repeat this, but okay. Who wants to be next? Who wants to go bye-bye? You want to go bye-bye? I know you're scared. Oh, hang on. I'm going to help you. It'll be all right. It's okay to be scared and not know where you're going. But I think you're going to be really happy when you see where you're going. Yes, I think you're going to recognize some of your little chicken friends. They might even be your sisters. Wait till you see this. Okay, the other girls are in the car. Okay. So on one of the last warm days of late fall, my daughter and I loaded the girls up and drove them back to where they started. Okay, well, we're on our way. Two girls, two dogs, and three chickens. Other two. It took They're no time at all, fine. and everyone yeah. was back in the fold. I wonder if they remember each other. Well, that's what I was wondering. Winters in the Northeast are challenging, especially in rural areas, and it's no secret that I'm not a fan. But for the past three years, I have surrendered to the season and embraced its challenges. The quiet beauty of fresh snow is a special moment unto itself. But each winter has become more difficult and managing everything alone is physically demanding. It's been hard to keep up, so I've been considering some changes and I can't wait to share them with you. So be sure to subscribe and follow along our adventures this spring. What's the chicken say? <laughs> You're a good chickity chick. Thanks for the egg. You want to go run around the yard? All right, you go have fun.